This play is called Dr. Mercury and the Stupendously Terrific Greater Pacific Time Machine by Terence Patrick Hughes. The time is the present as well as various times of day and eras across the 19th century. The setting is the Pacific regions of the United States. At long last, history's greatest creation is complete. My time machine is ready to transport human beings into the past. Bunsen, where are you? Bunsen! Sorry, Doctor, I got stuck in the elevator. We don't have an elevator. Maybe that's why I was stuck. Pay attention, any minute now we're expecting the president, his top general, and his top scientist. I saw three people in the hallway. I thought they were waiting for the elevator. We don't have an elevator. Maybe that's what they're waiting for. Put them in. Oh, Dr. Mercury, what's this about a time machine? It's right over here, Mr. President. I volunteer the army to go back in time first. You don't want to use the time travel for fighting war, General. Who wants to fight a war? I left my wallet at home this morning. I want to go back and get it. Doctor, have you used the machine yet? Yes, but we've only tested it on pastries. Just yesterday, we sent the chocolate back to 1950. But we overshot the return date, so we're going to eat it tomorrow. Wow, but there's only one person, one person who must never find out about this. You're right, if the evil villain Templeton C got a hold of the time machine, then there would be no stopping him. Never fear, folks. This building is surrounded by an electric fence. There are electric alarms all over the walls and electric cameras watching everything. Uh, Doctor? Yes, Bunsen? Was I supposed to turn the switch for the electricity on or off? On. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Ha, as I was saying. Ha, <laughs> Templeton Sneed. It is I. Stand back, everyone, or I will order my so bad robots to strike. You don't scare us, capture him. You asked for it, a robot, sing so bad. We were, we're sailing, sailing along Moonlight Bay. We, we, we can hear it. the voices singing, singing, casting of surrender. Stop, we surrender. Silence, robots. Now, we're going back in time to, into the past so that I can take over the whole world. Forget it, Sneed. The machine has a secret security that you'll never figure out. That's right. Who never guessed you have to dance the twist into the time machine? Oh. Buns it! You fool! <laughs> That's it, robots. Come on, move those hips. Everybody twist again, like we did last summer. We have to go after them! Worked, it worked, it worked, yes! Oh, I mean, oh no, it worked. Um, anyway, the machine is set for the Pacific region of the United States, but they could be anywhere, at any time in the 19th century. We'll just have to guess. Bunsen, you stay here. Don't touch anything. All right, let's go back to the 1800s. And twist! Yeah, I brought it. Takes. Look there. Some more of them people appearing out of nowhere. The, prob, probably trying to steal that gold, our gold claim like them other rascals. Where are we? You don't even know you're in California? They know where they are. Ever since they found out gold. Ever since they found out that gold at Sutter's Mill last year, everyone's been coming to California. 
Nope. Sutter's Mill, why we've gone back to the gold rush of 1849. Y'all going to sing real bad like them tin cans we just saw? So bad robots were here. How did you protect yourself? We just sang real bad right back at him. Come on, gang. Home. Oh, oh, give me a home. to America. Russia sold Alaska to the United States in 1867. Everyone, twist this way into 1867. Listen, miners, the gold rush will only be, will only end up making the big companies rich. Do yourself a favor. Go to Los Angeles and open up a sushi restaurant. It will pay off big time. Captain, look what just jumped out of the fishing net. Who are you people? We're from the future. Was that an old leaky fishing boat? Sometimes it feels that way. No one stows away on an Alaskan ship. We're the best fishing fleet in the world. We provide over half of all fish eaten in America. We also catch king crab shrimp, but do you know why I became a fisherman? Why? Well, I can't tune a piano, but I can tune a fish. Listen, an evil villain is trying to keep Russia from selling Alaska to America. Oh, the crazy guy with the singing robots? Yes, he tried to wreck the deal, but he couldn't do it. Who stopped him? No one. The Russians were selling two cents an acre. Nobody on earth could stop that deal. Do you have any idea where they went? Before they disappeared, he said that he were going to go see a per girl named Mauna Loa. Good grief! It's the machine! Everyone! Sneed is headed for the largest volcano on earth. We must go to Hawaii, and if I'm correct, we should find him in the year 1881. Well, that's right, Chiefs. If you give me the rights to this volcano, I'll give you my three robots. Electric men sing very badly. But they are very good at scaring fish into nets, dude. Then it's a deal. Now I will turn this volcano into the most powerful weapon known to man. You're making a big pineapple slingshot, aren't you? No, I'm going to make the sun disappear. <laughs> You speak like a god. A mean, pushy, arrogant god, dude. Stop, Sneed! Dr. Mercury, how did you find me? When I heard you were headed to Mauna Loa, I knew you'd only go to the world's largest volcano, and when it had its most frequent eruptions, which was in 1881. You're finished, Sneed. Ah uh ha -huh, ha, that's what you think. But I'm not. I've planted a weather device in the volcano so that next time it erupts, the earth will be covered in clouds. <laughs> I'm an evil genius. China is about to erupt now. It's time to go home and get a, get a lava umbrella. <laughs> in a few moments, only I will have the power to make the sun return. <laughs> the earth will be mine. Hey, Dr. Mercury. Answer. You forgot your cell phone, so I came looking for you. First, I went to the Stone Age, which was really weird. Then I got here and almost fell into the mouth of a volcano. And look, I found this really cool box. Is that my cloud making device? There, I disarmed it. You won't be making any clouds today, Sneed. Or in the future. You're going to jail. 
Congratulations, Bustin. You saved the past and the future. What do you have to say for yourself? Oops. What? What is it? I think I left Dr. Mercury's cell phone in the Stone Age. Bustin, you fool! Quick, everybody, into the machine. We're going back to 30,000 BC. You mustn't let the cavemen make a call with my cell phone. The roaming charges will cost a fortune. Twist, everyone, twist! And if the cast will please join us on stage for a bow.